Welcome back with Random Zillow Home going with this uh, three bedroom, two bathroom home in Amanda, Ohio. 2176 square feet on Main Street and just under $230,000. So, mostly picked this one as it's the most likely one to be haunted. It just looks haunted, it has that haunted vibe. So let's get to it. I heard that though, just to get that going. But here we go. Yeah, like this definitely looks haunted. Like y'all can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice and exterior. Well, we see the interior within the first ten photos. Probably not. Nope, within the first twenty. Not looking like it. You got the garage. Um. Yeah, garage. It looks so much more haunted. Oh my gosh. We might finally get into the interior. Barely. I want to count this. This is the porch. This is a covered porch. I want to count this as the interior, but they want to get through. What the heck? Yeah, this is definitely a haunted house. This is definitely a haunted house. That chandelier just makes things so much more eerie. Oh my god. Oh my god. This makes things so much more eerie. Like, y'all can't... This looks so weird. Oh my gosh. I guess a bedroom? Or is this the living room with the cursed looking fireplace? Those drapes, oh my gosh. Definitely not open floor plan, that's at least a certainty. Uh, a little, little heater thing, okay. Okay, looks like someone died in the carpets. Um, or just took a nasty crap on them. Uh, something, I don't know. Definitely not open floor plan, there's a kitchen, we have a door. Oh, missing drawers. The cabinet doors and stuff, that's nice. Little old dishwasher sink. Um, the stove is gone. Got the microwave though. Um, no fridge, I'm assuming. Oh, I got more rooms. Again with the weird stairs and the chandelier and weird wall design. Um, another bedroom. Does every room have this thing? Or are you just showing off the same room over and over again? Um, interesting home though, not gonna lie, but this really screams haunted. Like, it just screams haunted. Um, this is a bathroom. With the weird ass, that's a thin tub. That is a very thin tub. What? Need a little clamshell looking sink got the heater right next to the toilet so you can't really have the um toilet paper thing there because it's gonna catch fire got a cabinet above the tub and the tub is about as wide as the sink as the cupboard that's not a wide tub like okay got a little shelf situation in this room again with this little cursed stairwell that's somewhat spiral um got this little room here another room with another chimney um okay please tell me this thing has a basement that would be awesome um we have more rooms got a lamp zooming it onto the lamp light stuff another chimney and Santa's gonna be busy with this home with all these chimneys. Um, but yeah, this is a really... Doesn't show a basement, but I have a feeling there's a... Yeah, there's a basement. Like, you could tell there's a basement. That's where the demons hide. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Built in 1900. Has a boiler steam for heating. Central air for AC, that's nice. Just under half an acre. Six garage spaces. What? There's a sunroom. It's pretty interesting. 
stately home in need of some TLC, including a Bible, because you just know it's haunted as hell. To restore it to its former glory, two partials for a total of eight. Okay, so there's two plots of land. You get a second plot of land. So basically, the acres double, which is interesting. The acres doubles. Detached five plus car sit garage sits on the separate on the other half acre. This is an original 1800s home. Or I say 1900. With original woodwork, four marble fireplaces, steam radiators, twin front door with original hardware, and beautiful architecture, amazing staircase with original wood banister, three bedroom, two bath, kitchen, living room, dining room, great room area. Sunroom, deck, and covered front porch. New roof two years ago. Newer steam heat boiler system. And central air. Approximately four years old. Updated blown-in attic insulation. Replaced windows with double pane. Vinyl sided. And most vinyl siding. Located in Village of Amanda. Owned by the same family for 90 plus years. Sold as is. Okay. That's, yeah. Me needs to see That kind of screams sold as is. Um, but owned by the same family for 90 plus years. That tells me that the home is probably haunted. It was, someone died. It was left to someone else in the family that didn't want the home. So they put it up on the market. That's what it screams to me. Um, been on the market for nearly two months. Gee, wonder why it screams haunted. Um, so, more info on this. Yeah, it has a cellar, has a basement. Um, and it just screams haunt. I, oh my gosh. Like, if I had the money, I would get this house for the simple fact that it's likely haunted. Um, because, yes. Um, sewer assist, public sewer, all that stuff, that's a bit normal. Um, so I'm gonna pause to not dox myself. And here we go. Hasn't the price has not changed. It's just people kept trying to buy it, but they probably sensed this is hot to the fuck this shit I'm out. And there we go. Um So yeah. There's the mortgage situation. There's no HOA, which is good. Um nearby schools. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. But again, question, what do you do for pre-K to second grade? Um, somewhat walkable, somewhat bikeable. Uh, pretty much car dependent, though. But, wait, what's the price history? What it doesn't give that? It gives this, not as a graph. Um, but yeah. So, who would want this haunted home? Anyways, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.